What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to do an unboxing of an arc droid CNC plasma cutter along with prime weld cut 60 I think it is to go with this. So this will take my fabrication skills from here to like up here. Options are endless with making brackets, breaking, you know, anything. We're going to unbox this. We're going to lay it out on the table and I'm going to do my best to kind of explain how it works, what it is. We'll hook it up and we'll try it out. And I want to give a big thanks to Ben and all the guys at uh, Great Western Saw. He hooked me up with this and the plasma cutter. Gave me an awesome deal. So let's unbox it. Joy. This thing is smaller than I thought, which is good, saves space. First thing I noticed pulling it out of the box is just like the build quality of this. Like this is all aluminum. It's very, very smooth to move around. It's just, it's unreal. Like it's, it's pretty sweet. So and then these, these are, uh, this is your calibration tool. This little thing slides along these with the calibration tool and it uh, tells the plasma cutter head or the pen or anything where it is. Power cord, this cable is for, this is like the computer of the whole thing. And yeah, it's touch screen and you can make parts on here. Like you don't need any other software really. And it's, you know, it's compatible with different CAD softwares, which this thing is really nice for someone that has no CAD experience or anything like that. Like CAD can get pretty in depth. Like it's, it's pretty crazy. And I have no CAD experience or anything like that. So that's another reason why I got this is because it's user friendly, which is really nice. This mount goes on here. This is for your, uh, your plasma cutter torch. And this, this thing is sweet. This is one of the main reasons why I decided to go with this unit. So this is a pen or a stylus, I guess. It would go on here where the plasma cutter would go. If you make a part, like you guys know, I love to make parts out of, you know, cardboard or paper, you know, get a visual before I actually make it out of metal. So I can take that part and I can put it on my table and I can trace it with this and it'll keep track of my traces and everything in the, the, the computer unit here. It'll just save it and then I can transfer it over to cut it out of metal. Like it's, it's mind blowing. It's gonna be really fun to use. We're gonna make some pretty cool stuff. We'll set this aside for now. We'll unbox the plasma cutter, then we'll set it all up and we'll try her out. All right, so this is the Prime Weld Cut 60. If you guys are wondering why I don't use my existing plasma cutter is because my plasma cutter is a high frequency start. You need a low frequency start. This is a low frequency start unit because high frequency start plasma cutters can kind of, you know, CNC's and stuff can kind of glitch it out. So you need a low frequency start. Move these off here for a second here. Your power cord, your torch and everything. What's really nice about this plasma cutter is it's dual voltage. So you can either use 220 or 110. For, I'm gonna be using uh, 220. And it's got a little attachment that plugs into the back here for CNC's and stuff like that. So that's really nice. You can see, Great Western Saw, right on. Ben says a lot of good things about uh, Prime Weld, and I've heard a lot of good things about Prime Weld, so I have no doubt in my mind that it's a good plasma cutter, even for welders or you know, other stuff like that. So first glance of this, like the build quality is, it's, it's crazy. It's freaking heavy. And it'll cut as uh, thin as 22 gauge sheet metal, or you can cut up to seven eighths thick steel mild steel like that's i will never ever cut that thick of, of steel so it's perfect i can cut everything in between <laughs> thanks again ben for hooking me up with this stuff it's pretty nice pretty nice unit it's gonna make my life a lot easier in the future making parts and everything yeah so let's get this uh arc droid set up on the table and everything and do the calibration make sure it's up to date and all that fun stuff <music> All 
right, we did the calibration. I kinda, in the background of that last video, you've seen this table, but I completely changed it up. I uh, essentially wanted to make it a water table, but after I did more research and everything, it's just kind of a, a pain. You gotta add chemicals to the water so you don't get bacteria growing in there if you don't change the water enough and all that stuff. So I ended up just putting two vents. You can kind of hear them, they're on. Two vents in there, just vents outside. So we're gonna see how well that works. I hope it works good. Now the only thing we have to do before starting a cut is well, we need the arc droid to tell the plasma cutter when to turn the torch on. So that's what this uh, little connector is. We're gonna have to solder two wires on and it plugs into the back of the plasma cutter and then the wires plug into the back of the arc droid. Let's get those soldered up and then we should be good to go. So in the manual for the, the Prime Weld Cut 60, there's a, a diagram showing all these little pins. In the diagram, it says pin one and two are to turn on a CNC plasma or a CNC machine. Pin one and two, we're just gonna solder two wires on there and then it'll connect to the back of the, the, back of the arc droid. Pretty easy. <laughs> loom is uh, pretty big for this wire but that's all I had so and then, so these two connectors will go to the back of the arc droid this one will go in the back of the plasma cutter and we'll see how this thing cuts what's really nice about this prime weld cut 60 as it uh, in the back of the manual it has cutting speed reference table which is really nice so like you set your amperage your psi for what uh, material thickness so mild steel stainless aluminum all that stuff so all you do is you you know, you punch all your stuff in here and you're good to go. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it out here. So this is 3 16 and uh, I drew a little rectangle here. So we're gonna use the pen and we're gonna trace it out and then we'll do like a dummy run to see if it'll uh, follow the line and then we'll try cutting it out. Let's change the head over to the pen. So it's super easy, let's push these two tabs up right off. Oh, my little rubber boot fell off. Just like that. Put this into the side here. And automatically it recognizes that it's hooked up to the pen. On our screen, we'll push uh, trace. By turning the, the knob on the computer thing here, you can lower it down. So all I'm gonna do is mark each corner and I'll push this little button that's lit red here so that corner that corner that corner that corner and then when we get back to where we started do a double click boom done and if you look on here there's our shape that we just traced so we'll change it over to the plasma head and then we'll uh, see if it follows it. All right, so I have it set to cut on the outside of the part. So that's to turn your torch on and off. It's off right now. We'll click run and we'll see. I think that looks pretty good. I think we'll uh, try it with the torch on. First time, we'll see how it goes. So I have my plasma cutter set at 45 amps, 60 PSI, run. So I think I figured out what I did wrong. I didn't zero it. Let's try it again. Let's see what it does. All right, it seemed to cut it. Let's see what it looks like. 
Nice. Look how straight that cut is. Ooh, I like it. Uh, I need to work on my stop. I, uh, I didn't have my post flow set properly. It was set to like 10 seconds, so it just kept going for 10 seconds after it was done the cut. So I turned that down. So that's pretty impressive. Oh, there it goes. We're gonna actually try to cut apart here. So I need to make some engine tabs for here, mounting tabs. I'll make it out of cardboard and then we'll we'll trace it on the on the arc droid and see how it does. So I kind of made a part out of cardboard here, just kind of like that. So I'll take this and I'll trace it onto some quarter inch. Should be good to go. So I made my part out of paper. You always start with the hole that you're gonna be cutting out. I started with the hole, it's gonna be a 12 millimeter hole. And then after that, I went to here, made a line to there, and then went all the way around, and then all the way back. So that's says what my part looks like. All right, so this is quarter inch material. I changed my settings. So it'll stay the same settings, it's just a slower cut speed. So 1200 instead of 1600. So there's my part. We're gonna turn the torch on, and we're gonna give her. Here we go. I do have some slag on the back side. I could uh, fine tune my settings, speed it up or slow it down. That stuff's easy to grind off though. All right, so I just cleaned the, I just cleaned the slag and stuff off. And look at that, not bad. Surprised I got the hole to line up, I just guessed. <laughs> so yeah, I'll make two of these and weld them on and that's pretty sweet. I really like it. A little bit of fine tuning and good to go. But other than that, I'm really, really impressed with this thing. And this Prime Weld Cut 60, this thing is a really nice unit. I like it. Not very loud. Like I got the plasma cutter on and the ventilation system on. It's not very loud at all. You can easily talk over it. So I really like it. Very happy with it. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below for uh, Great Western Saw. You can buy just the arc droid or you can buy the arc droid and the, the prime weld cut 60 all in a bundle. That's what I did. This cut 60, it, it pairs very nice to this arc droid. Very simple to get, get up and going. So if it ain't broken, don't fix it. But if it ain't upgraded, upgrade it. You guys have a good night.